If you've ever streamed and had people complain about your microphone's quality, then this video is for you because there's a couple tricks that not many people know about that can drastically improve your audio quality. I'm Big Bad Beaver and in this Big Bad video, I'm going to be teaching you those tricks. Now before we get into it, I want to show you what my microphone typically sounds like if I don't have these tweaks enabled. Now my Twitch setup isn't anything crazy. I use an old CAD U37 USB microphone as my standard recording microphone. And with these tweaks enabled, there's some subtle differences that really help to make it sound a lot more clear. Audiophiles will have definitely noticed the decrease in echo, the reduced room noise, and a little less distortion. Now that quality starts with the placement of your microphone and your gain settings. Now when speaking into a microphone, it's typically best to place it inches away from your mouth like this. I keep my microphone positioned to the side of my face when I'm streaming kind of like this since I don't have a good pop filter. So doing this helps me minimize the amount of pops and puffs that go into the microphone itself. Now an easy way to manage your microphone's position is with a scissor arm stand like this. This is a very cheap $20 one off Amazon that mounts directly into the desk itself and I can easily unscrew it and reposition it closer if I'd like. I'm able to also move and rotate my microphone around like this to make sure it's at the most optimum spot. And, uh, and then once I do that, I just go into my Windows audio settings, uh, right click on the volume button in the taskbar, click sounds, go to the recording tab, pick out my microphone, and then using the levels tab, I can adjust uh, the volume currently going into the microphone, the gain. You can see a live preview of your sound in the recordings tab as well, and you can do trial and error speaking at your normal voice volume to see what works best. You could alternatively also do this inside of OBS. Now, speaking of OBS, the next big trick I'm going to show you to improve your microphone's quality is using filters. I'm a little surprised at how many people don't really know about OBS filters or what they do, but uh, essentially a audio filter will let you apply audio effects to any audio track you have in OBS. Now the filters we're after are going to be noise suppression and noise gate. To start in your OBS audio mixer, click on the settings gear for your microphone's audio track. Then click on filters. You'll have this filters menu open. Now the first one we're adding is noise suppression. This filter helps remove any general static noise and other background sounds in your microphone. Simply add it to your filter list and it'll take effect. You'll have some settings you can mess with, including the suppression type. Uh, I personally use speaks because it allows you to adjust the suppression level. I typically leave it at the default negative 30, but you can change it if you'd like it to be more aggressive. The next filter, noise gate, allows you to disable your microphone's input if any sound under a certain decibel isn't detected. This is perfect if you have things like a mechanical keyboard that, you know, is very loud or clicky, or maybe you have uh, phones or, or other devices beeping in the background that you don't want picked up. This filter helps you keep that type of sound down to a minimum because it only broadcasts your microphone if you're over a certain volume level. You'll have two options to manage when you enable this, a closed threshold and an open threshold. You always want to make sure that the closed threshold is less than your open threshold. This is because the closed threshold determines the volume at which the microphone is disabled again. The open threshold determines how many decibels are needed for your microphone to begin broadcasting. As for attack time, hold time, and release time, these are more advanced settings that can influence how the microphone is enabled and disabled that you can read more about in the OBS documentation in the description below. Now, those two filters are most important, but if you're still noticing issues, there's other filters you can try out as well, including the limiter and compressor. The limiter filter helps you prevent your microphone from peaking, eliminating distortion from loud noises that hit zero decibels. The compressor filter is very powerful. This allows you to remove buzzing or other audio artifacts that may come up in your microphone. Lastly, one more tip I have is that if you're in a barren room like I am where it's mainly just walls and not a lot of furniture, one great thing that can help out your audio quality is to sound treat your room with special acoustic panels. On Amazon, you can purchase these special foam panels that you can mount up against your wall, and these will help to eliminate echo and reverb throughout your room, giving you cleaner audio. Take some time to experiment with your settings and make sure that your microphone's audio levels are well balanced with your game audio. Do some recordings on your PC to make sure that everything sounds good to you. You don't want to start a stream and then find out that the audio is messed up. 
This will really save you the embarrassment of realizing that on a stream, things have sounded like garbage for the past hour. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe because I have more tutorials coming out in the future, including one on how to improve your webcam's visual quality. If this tutorial was helpful, that one you'll probably end up loving as well. If you still have more questions, you can leave a comment in the comment sections below, or you can join my Discord server and get a hold of me in there, and I'll do my best to help you out. I seriously hope this video was helpful in improving your microphone's audio quality, and I wish you the best of luck streaming on Twitch or YouTube or whatever platform you choose.